Mirage is the most popular map in CSGO. From the moment it was added to the game, pro teams have played more than 12,000 official games on it in just five years. But today, more and more players are starting to complain about it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because you are watching Cyberchoke. And today, we're going to tell you why CSGO pros don't like playing on Mirage anymore. When this map was first added to the competitive pool, the pro scene in CSGO changed forever. Many teams started to train with it for the same reason regular players loved it so much, its simplicity. Mirage instantly entered the list of the three most popular maps on HLTV. In 2015, it was slightly inferior to Cash in the fight for first place. Then in 2016, it became the most frequently played map on the pro scene. And if we look at the statistics from 2013 to 2016, we'll see that pro teams played on Mirage more than 12,000 times. For example, it's 34% higher than Inferno. Many pro players named Mirage their favorite map, pointing out its great balance. It was the time when analysts loved to joke that the team with the best Mirage would win. And actually, with some exceptions like Astralis, it was true. But naturally, after a while, the map started to annoy some players, and they began complaining about it. But if we look at these claims closely, we'll see that there's actually no problem with the map itself, it just became boring. Mirage's popularity started to fall down in the online era that started in 2020. It was still one of the most popular maps on LAN, but online, it appeared less and less. Many pro players have said that they're just bored of playing it, and that all the rounds end up being similar, like in Dust 2, and eventually just lead to aiming duels. A funny thing happened. At the start, everyone loved Mirage for its simplicity, but many years later, people started hating it for the very same reason. Players could try their best to find some new strategies for it, but without much luck. It's worth mentioning that on Face It, Mirage is still definitely a top one map. But yeah, it's no wonder that a casual player would pick something simple. Disputes about whether Mirage should be changed are still very hot. Some people say that the map is outdated and should be restructured, while others believe that no one should touch it in any way. Well, we'll all see what Valve decides to do with it.